Welcome. You are now entering the mind of Janae Shandell. Step forward to activate the doors and please enjoy your stay. everybody it's your girl Janae Shandell and I am back with another video today so thank you for joining me thank you for coming I appreciate the support so today we are going to talk about how to pack for a trip with only a personal item so in particular for me the airline that I'm referring to that I need to have the personal item for is Frontier Airlines so I have never flown Frontier before heard some things about them but you know spirit frontier or whatever i don't care as long as i make it there in one piece and i can enjoy the experiences of wherever i'm going oh, and one thing i did forget to mention is that um i am actually packing for a trip to puerto rico San Juan, Puerto Rico. i will be leaving in six days so that's why i'm packing early because i am horrible at packing last minute i always leave something always you see my face always so i have to pack in advance so, like I said, I'm going to Puerto Rico. We are only going to be there for about three and a half days. Our flight leaves kind of late on Friday, so we can kind of squeeze in an extra day. So, I'm just going to call it three to four days of a trip. Like I said, I have to pack with a personal item. And, you know, this was a bit of a challenge and a struggle for me because normally I'm used to packing a lot more items of clothing. And I've actually gotten a whole lot better. Like, now I've gotten to the point where I just pack a carry-on and a personal item, but I only bring the clothes that I'm wearing. I am a notorious overpacker, like my history has been to pack overpack too many things. And one thing that I had to realize with Frontier that you are only allowed to have um, a personal item um, for free and everything else you have to pay for. So for a carry-on, they wanted $40 if you paid online and $60 if you pay at the airport. So Janae is not paying no extra $40, okay? Like the whole point of getting the cheap fare and ticket was to save myself some money. So what I look like giving you the money back for another bag, I'm, I'm not doing that. So one thing that I did have to do was figure out what the dimensions were. Sorry y'all, my phone just decided it wanna start dying right while I'm recording. So anyway, so for Frontier, you're allowed to have a 14, you can't see it but 14 by 18 by 8 so this bag is actually a little bit taller than what the requirements are but it's thinner than what they've asked for so this is actually my entire pack bag and i'm going to show you guys how i actually achieved this how i got everything to fit and work um i did use a measuring tape to kind of measure out you know because i didn't want to be too off Make sure you measure your bag and make sure that it will fit within the dimensions of what you're allowed. But it is possible, okay? For us colored girls, it is possible. It is possible to pack the just the minimum amount of makeup that you need. It's possible to still look fly. It's possible to have enough outfits. So just keep continuing to watch my video and yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it. So I feel like with any trip, people always say, first off, wear your heaviest shoes and wear like your heaviest clothes. So, you know, that's good advice no matter where you're going. So for me, what I decided to do is I decided that I'm going to wear these shorts because they will come in handy with something else that I'm wearing. I'm actually going to use this on top of my bathing suit that I have. Um, and then it just in a pinch, if I need to throw on a pair of shorts with like a, a t-shirt or a tank top, I can. And I'm also going to wear on the plane my uh, blazer and like a thin black hoodie that I have. And, you know, I know it's not going to be like super hot in Puerto Rico, but there might be nights where I want to just throw on a blazer with the outfit because I just love how blazers look. And if it's, if it's a little cooler or whatever it is, I just, you just never know when you might need a blazer or a light jacket. So I, my mom, always ta taught me you pack a jacket no matter where you go so you always got to take at least one pair of sneakers because you know when you're on vacation you do a lot of walking and you know your feet are going to get tired so it's always best to have at least one comfortable shoe so you know 
for those days when you want to hit the streets, like really hit the pavement and go exploring, you don't have to worry about your feet hurting. Another one of my strategies that I uh, thought about is to really try to pack clothing items that are the thinnest. So like I said, I'm going to a warm climate, so this may not apply exactly for when you're going somewhere uh, colder, but it can still, it can still, I think it can still work. So if you were to, for example, to be going to Iceland or somewhere where it's colder, you know, you could wear your sweaters on the plane with you. Or sometimes I cheat and I wrap them around the handle of my bag and I'll like uh, just lay them over top of my carry-on or lay them, uh, tie them around my waist. So you can still wear like your sweaters on you and then like your undergarments and your shirts, like maybe some long sleeve blouse or shirts that are kind of a thinner material but that you can layer you can roll those up and bring those with you and i think it could still apply and in any case you know whenever you're wearing jeans and stuff like people say it's best to wear one or maybe two bring one or two pairs of jeans that you can match multiple shirts with maybe a skirt with a pair of stockings would help for a warmer weather i mean not warmer weather excuse me colder weather so because i am going to a warmer climate my thought process was find dinner fabrics and as well for me the vibe that I, I decided I wanted to go for was kind of like a summer dress vibe like a, a flower vibe like I just feel like when you go to the island like a cute little summer dress is like the vibe I wanted to go for so this is just a plain t-shirt dress but it's a really thin fabric that is easily rolled up and um you know it can be compressed a lot easier than some other fabrics i have this flower dress this is a cute flower dress that i plan to wear on at night time all of these are like flower dress items except for this one is like a two-piece with a shirt and a skirt so that was really my game plan and because of when we're landing kind of half of half of our first day is already gone so i really only needed five outfits one part is if you are um, staying somewhere that has a washer and dryer where you can you know wash anything you need like for me I always pack undergarments like the most undergarments out of anything because I feel like with clothes you can mix mix and match but when it comes to undergarments like you need as many as you can pack and also like I said if you have somewhere that has a washer and dryer available on site you can easily wash those and then dry them and then have them for the next day which is what I basically plan on doing with my um bathing suit so I did only pack one because in the in the in the interest of saving space I didn't want to pack multiple bathing suits so I packed one with the hope that I would be able to wash and dry you know dry overnight and then wear it again for the next day if I decide to go so when it comes to night clothes because I'm only staying for three nights we I just went with two outfits one of them can be reworn and really to be honest I could have just packed one and then just reworn that same one for all three nights. But I just chose the pack two. And I, I got some really thin fabrics, you know, just like some leggings and some workout shirts. I think that those are thinner fabrics and they're easier to try to like compress into a book bag. And then I just have just a, a cover up to go on top of my bathing suit here. So, and actually, so insert new clip here. <laughs> I actually decided to redo this part because I did not like the original clip that I recorded. And so I'm just like... You know what, Janae? It's your channel. You can change it if you want to. You don't have to settle. So, you guys are going to get this new clip. So, when it actually came to packing for this trip and packing in one bag, the most difficult part I found was not actually deciding which clothing to wear, but it was actually trying to pare down on my makeup and my personal items, like, and my shoes. Oh, and my shoes. And like as a woman of color and just a woman in general, we always like to have multiple options. And so I have had to teach myself that I don't need to have 50 options. Just pick what looks good on me. So in this case of per packing with a personal item, prioritizing is going to be super, super, super important. And I think that I have for myself developed a pretty good system of when it comes to packing clothing in general. I mean, in particular is that. I try on basically everything, everything before I go, every single outfit with the shoes, everything complete so I can see how the full look will, will be on me. And if I have any doubts whatsoever, any, and I'm not 100% sure that I like it, I leave it home. That's it. Because I feel like if I'm doubting it now, how it looks, then I'm going to doubt it when I get to my destination. And, you know, space is a precious commodity. I do not want to waste space with packing something that I'm not even sure that I think looks good on. Normally, I would pack with a whole full makeup studio with me, okay? You know, eyeshadow, bronzers, blush, everything. All types of brushes and wands and like whatever. But when you are trying to pack with limited space, 
it is all about simplifying, like I said, and prioritizing. So that means simplifying your skincare routine and simplifying your makeup routine that you're going to have for your So you have to decide very quickly, what are your non-negotiables? You know what I'm saying? What are your non-negotiables for your makeup items? What do you need, absolutely need, and what can stay behind? So for me, I have to have concealer. Concealer is like my baseline non-negotiable. I got to have some, some type of concealer because sometimes I experience redness and sometimes I experience bags under my eyes and that is just not cute. When you're on vacation, it's not cute to be walking around with bags. So that's my non-negotiable for my makeup kind of routine when I'm trying to simplify. So, you know, in this case of my trip, I had to make an executive decision and it's either you want this cheap like Janae or you don't because at the end of the day, I'm not going to pay extra fees to bring extra bags because that, that to me is defeating the whole purpose of getting this cheap flight. Okay, you get what I'm saying? So for this trip in particular for Puerto Rico, I'm limiting it to concealer, lipstick, lip gloss, eyeliner, and probably some, um, what do you call it? Setting spray. Okay, that's it. That's what I landed on. So for you, you have to decide what you're going to land on. Because um, I think in particular for me, because I'm going to a tropical climate and it's going to be humid. And, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking, Janae, your makeup is probably going to slide off your face anyway. So why waste good product that you don't spend good money on if it's just going to slide off your face? Like, it's no need to waste waste good product, okay? So, and then the other thing, especially I'm, for me, I plan on be, being super active while I'm in Puerto Rico. I plan on kayaking, swimming, whatever. So if you plan to go somewhere, you know you're going to be active, you know it's going to be humid or that you're going to be sweating in general. Girl, don't waste product. You know, you're going to look cute anyway. And to me, if you plan on wearing glasses or sunglasses, to me, that's a good way of kind of camouflaging that you don't have on the full face anyway. So if you plan on wearing your stunners, then you don't really need a full face anyway. So before I get to my last tip, let's do a recap of all my other tips. Know the dimensions that you are limited to. Don't guess and don't assume. Wear your heaviest or bulkiest items on the plane and keep it to a minimum. Consider your destination climate and pack the thinnest fabrics that you can so that it's easily compressible. Prioritize your non-negotiables, your makeup and personal items, and book accommodations that offer a washer and dryer access. And my last tip that I was going to say is to get you one of these. So this is one of those kind of Ziploc bags. Now, I know people are going crazy over the packing cubes and you know, your girl will get there one day, but right now I don't have one and I'm not about to spend money for one right now because I already spent money on these. And to me, this works just as good as a packing cube. I mean, it doesn't require um, a vacuum cleaner. You know, you just put everything in there and you kind of roll down and all the air comes out and it stays compressed until you open the zip but have something that can help you compress your stuff and you know like i said because you're trying to pack and put everything all in one book bag the more you can compress the more it can stay flat so i'm actually going to go ahead and pack up my stuff in here and i'll show you guys afterwards you know how it's going to look all in my bag and how i'm going to get away with it because your girl ain't paying no extra money i'm not paying no extra money another thing that i forgot that you really need to prioritize Especially, you know, hot girl, some whatever you want to call it. We out here, it's still sunny. You need to have, we need to have sunscreen, okay? Like, I know most black people think we don't need sunscreen. We need sunscreen, baby. We need sunscreen, okay? Oh, guys, one more tip I forgot to say. Well, one more thing I forgot to say is in your book bag, you know, when you have those little slots on the side, like where you can put a bottle of water. Make sure you pack you some Clorox wipes, and you can also put, like, um, your makeup wipes, slot it in there. Anything that you can have in a pack where there's feminine wipes, uh, makeup wipes, Clorox wipes, they go really easy into the little side pocket. I'm just joking. It's not really that hard. I'm just dramatic. All right. There we go. It's not as cute as a cube, but it's in there and it's flat. Now I'm going to put the part that's a little thinner at the bottom because I have some shoes, some sandals that I'm going to try to fit in here. 
and I have these and what's crazy is that I'm putting on my sneakers because they're my biggest pair of shoes but these are just as big and oh and this is one thing I forgot to mention okay if you travel somewhere you need to have shower shoes okay I might be old school and that's okay but I don't never go nowhere without my shower shoes. Like, I don't know what these people use to clean the tub. Like, yeah, it might be a five or a five-star hotel, ten-star hotel. I don't even know how many stars these people are supposed to have. Three stars, whatever. I never go nowhere without my shower shoes, okay? That's a fact. And if you're not traveling with shower shoes, I don't know what you're doing with your life. And that's it, you guys. Everything is in the backpack. And the only thing I left out is, like, the jewelry I'm going to wear and the glasses that I'm going to wear on the day of. But besides that, everything is inside of my book bag. So let me show you what it looks like on me. Oh, here it is. Let's see. Mm, maybe that part is on top where I have it broken. I have to fix that. But yeah, so it's on there. Damn! Federico, here I come! Alright you guys, so I hope that this video was able to help you and give you some thoughts on how to pack for your own trip or prepare for your own trip. Again, I was able to pack uh, five items of, well actually five outfits, excuse me, um, some night clothes, some undergarments, a bathing suit, and all that was able to fit into my one book bag. So I hope that this is able to help you and you can know that it is possible. Um, Especially when it comes to personal items like makeup and lotions and things of that nature. It is really possible. You just have to figure out how to pare down and what's going to be the most important to you on your trip. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Have fun. I mean, at the end of the day, this, these trips are all about having fun. So forget about what airline you're flying or whatever it is, how much stuff you're bringing. It's really, like I said, about the experiences. So like I said, I hope this is able... Um, this this video was able to help you and give you some thoughts on how to pack for yourself and you know if you're like me you got to have a daytime outfit and a nighttime outfit that's just how i pack that's just how i think i always have to have two outfits per day when i go on trips so this is really have to figure out how to make it work for you with the space that you have so thank you guys again for joining me and i will be back soon with another video stay tuned peace